Dzień, dzień. A. photo books about aviation, about marinas, about fashion models, about things that I'm interested in and aviation. But also I publish novels, exciting novels set in the Middle East. Uh, and that's why I'm here at the moment. I'm here on a, 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 what would you call it really, it's a book signing. I've been told to come here to Malta. Um, but I, would, would you like me to You've caught me on the hop, that's why I'm not prepared for this speech, so would you like me to tell you a little bit about oh, yes, my book? Please. Well, here's the first book. Uh, I've got Fateful Decision. Now, this book is actually very current, Manuela, because you know that aeroplane disappeared the other day in Malaysia. Well, this is about a missing aeroplane in the Sahara Desert, and it involves the Middle Eastern peace agreement which disappears aboard this aeroplane that no one can find. But this is a very noisy hotel, isn't it? But this is about the Middle East. That's fateful decision. Then there's another interesting book. Echoes from a Silent Enemy. Echoes is, have you, I don't know whether you've heard of a place called GCHQ in, Lund in uh, Cheltenham in England. You will do when you read this book, okay. Manuela, and the viewers of Med TV. Echoes, GCHQ is Britain's secret establishment that listens in to uh, conversations around the world, and they find a conversation that they don't like in this book, which leads to an attack on Heathrow Airport in London. Echoes from a Silent Enemy. The next book, again, very current book. It's called Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike. This is set in North Korea. And uh, as you know, North Korea have got a nuclear weapon. And the Americans don't like that. And so they do something about it. So rather, it's about a nuclear war. It could happen, but Colonel Piritin goes in in the B-2, the stealth secret bomber B-2, to bomb North Korea. Read all about it in Counter-Strike. Now this book, A Voice from Heaven. Now this, this book is most interesting. This. Yeah. This book is set in Israel. We're in the Middle East again, you see, Manuel. It's all set in the Middle East about activity and they go to Iran. Israel goes to Iran and takes out the nuclear establishments in Iran. But that's a controversial book. But we're nearly finished. This is my latest. You'll like this, by the way. This is my latest book. Tears in Tehran. Tears in Tehran. Tehran is in Iran. And at this point in time, in the Middle East, the Islamic state, I think they call themselves, I call it differently in this book, are invading Iran. But in this book, they invade Iran. And it's a very sad book. It's a sad story, and I don't want to talk too much about it, in all honesty, but Tears in Tehran is a very interesting book, very different book. Okay, very interesting then, John. Uh, how long have you been writing books then, John? 
writing books, I would say, about five years, Manuela. Manuela, it is Manuela, isn't it? It's Manuela. And from Med TV, isn't yes. it? Yes. Uh, about five years. Yes, about five years, on and off. I'm not full-time, I'm part-time at it. Um, but five years, yes? And where do you get your inspiration from? That's a very good question. Well, what made you think of that? I get my inspiration from when I travel to various countries. I first of all, I predominantly go to these countries to get photographs for the photo books. But whilst I'm there, I keep my eyes open for and ears open for inspiration from the Middle East. The Middle East, North Africa, attracts me. And when you're wandering around, you see an incident, you see a person, you can construct a story about it. And what countries have you visited for your plots? Another good question, Manuela. I have been to Morocco, I've been to Spain, I've been to Mallorca, I've been to Ukraine, I've been to Russia, um, I have been to Egypt, I have been to, uh, what's that lovely country, uh, Tunisia. I've, been, I've had a good time in Tunisia. But now, Malta is interesting, I'm here in Malta. And where can the general public can buy your books? If you go to Amazon.com, put search John Grange in, my books are all for sale on Amazon.com. It's all online, you can pay with direct debit cards, it's all booked through Amazon as any normal book is. And what is in writing at the moment? Ah, that is a secret. I am here in Malta. And I am constructing a book about Malta. An incident is going to happen in Malta. I don't know the title yet, and I'm certainly not going to tell anybody what the title is. It's secret. But it's going to be a mystery, an adventure. I'm not quite sure. There may be a Hungarian connection. I'm not quite sure yet. So, can I be in the... Well, yes. Ah, that's great. <laughs> I, I will have to call this interview to an end, though. As much as I don't want to, Manuela, I'm afraid I can't keep them waiting any longer. They're queuing up for my signature, so you can probably hear the noise of them waiting to come up the stairs. So I will have to say goodbye. Okay. But maybe we can see each other for a drink afterwards. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. Then. That's my pleasure. Thank you. That's my pleasure, Manuela. Thank you very much indeed. And wish your viewers of Med TV all my best wishes.